So in this class, we're looking at uh, uh, the Nigerian financial system. So basically, um, as uh, a country, there is an economy, and an economy is uh, is a mixed economy, and we have various sectors of the economy. So basically, we're looking at uh, you know uh, the structure in place to support or ensure movement of funds and risks associated with it between our various sectors of the economy. So in this class, we're looking at uh, the Nigeria's financial system. So basically what we're saying is that uh, uh, in every economy or in every country, uh, there is uh, a structural method or a structural technique put in place to ensure that you know funds move from one entity to the other entity. Okay, that's one sector of the economy toward another sector. For instance, uh, you need uh, to establish a business, you will need fund, and then the fund is probably got in the form of loan or whatever uh, finance uh, uh, option that is available to you. So basically, you have to follow certain certain requirements are uh, needed to ensure that that money moves to where you uh, the industry that you are. So uh, the structure in place to ensure that movement of funds between various sectors is what we refer to as what the financial system. And because we're paying attention to Nigeria, uh, that sector, uh, that system, the structure in place to move funds between various sectors of the economy is what we call the Nigeria's financial system. So we're looking at the components. What are the components? Components means elements, elements, things uh, that form a part of what of the financial system. So in the Nigerian financial system, money is what an element. So we all know that money is what we call a legal tender. Okay, uh, generally accepted as a means of what exchange. So in Nigeria, for instance, we use naira and what kobo. Aside from naira and kobo, we have other currencies: British pounds, euro, yen, sefa, and all that. So we have other names that we call currency or money in Nigeria. You can use cash, fund, capital change. For instance, you're buying something from a man or a woman. Madam, give me my change. You're referring to money. Okay, fund. COVID-19 relief fund. How much was contributed to it? We don't know. You can ask the Minister of Finance. They'll tell us. But when we say fund, we're actually referring to money. Capital. You want to start a business. You need capital. Capital can also be referred to as what money. So basically, these are some of the terms that we uh, call money in the Nigeria's what, our financial system so money is a component of nigeria's financial system so here we have financial services and non-financial services so basically uh you know banks render financial services insurance companies render financial services investment companies render financial services so i i, I know we already know what insurance is we know what banks do we know what stock broken firms do so the services they render is what we call financial service. So we have non-financial service or financial support services. So basically you have uh, advices, okay, from maybe accounting firms, legal firms, consulting firms. So that when you're trying to raise money, okay, uh, these are support services, okay, that are classified as what non-financial service or financial support service or financial management service. They also form part or component of the Nigeria's what financial system. So the next one, we have what we call depository financial institutions. Okay, I already explained what are depository financial institutions. You know the bank is a depository financial institution. Institutions established, okay, to, to, to mobilize deposits. You want to save money in the bank now. You go to commercial bank, okay, and some other banks that do the same thing. Not all banks actually are established to what? to do uh, what they call uh, general what, uh, deposit mobilization. Although some other banks do it some other way, even insurance companies, they are not basically established for depositing what finance or depositing money in there. But there's a way they go about it to get money from what the public that they now find a way to what invest. But we're talking about financial institutions that are involved with the deposit. So commercial banks, thrift institutions, credit unions, okay? In, in Nigeria, for instance, at the local level, what we call the allergies, okay? Uh, they go about getting what money from uh, petty traders and then at the end of the month they give them back the money so it's a way of getting what a deposit as well. so these uh, institutions form part of the what the financial system of Nigeria so non non deposit financial institutions or what we call institutions that are not uh, established basically to mobilize deposit I already, ex I already explained the ones that are there for deposit. You want to deposit money in the bank now. You know where to go to. You can't go to an insurance company to deposit money now. That is not their basic aim. If they have to mobilize deposit, they know how they go about it. They sell policies to get money from what from 
the public. So insurance companies, finance companies, stock blocking firms, fintechs, they are all non-deposit financial institutions, but they are also in the financial world uh, institution. So regulatory institutions, they are institutions that are, that are involved with what? Uh, with regulations. They are basically there to regulate what are uh, the various activities contained in the world financial world system. You have the CBN, Central Bank of Nigeria. You have the NDIC, Nigeria Deposit Insurance Corporation, Securities and Exchange Commission, Nigerian Insurance World Commission, Federal Ministry of Finance, okay? Okay, so these are what institutions in the financial system that regulate what activities. So we have regulated security. So usually if you have money and you don't want to hold money, you can use some what uh, items in place of that what money. So what I'm saying is that if you have those items, it's as good as having money. Okay, so we call them regulated security. So securities are like what items that you hold in place of money. For instance, if you have shares, okay, if you have shares, it's as good as money because when you sell them, you get money out of it. Okay, uh, bonds, treasury bills, commercial papers, they are all what I call instruments or we call them financial what assets. Okay, so they are components of the what Nigerian financial what system. When you have them, it's as good as having what money. So financial markets that that's, that's what we call the market uh, in which what you raise funds. Okay, so if you want to raise funds in the Nigerian financial system, you go to financial market. So financial markets we have. Uh, what they call uh, the money market or the capital market. Money market is for raising short-term funds or, or what I call uh, where you trade short-term securities. Then capital market is for long-term or what they call uh, mid-term uh, 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 security. So basically, uh, the capital market is used to raise long-term and then the uh, money market is used to raise what... Uh, 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 short term. So in the money market, they have treasury bills, savings and fixed deposits, commercial papers. In the uh, capital market, you're talking about bonds, shares, government securities, and all that. Now, cryptocurrencies. These are not legal tenders. The Central Bank of Nigeria has warned against it. The Security and Energy Committee has warned against it, but it is actually in existence, a component of the Nigeria financial world system individuals are investing in it's a digital asset okay like bitcoin okay uh we have various other coins as well but basically uh these are forming part of the financial system people are using it in exchange for what for goods and services people are buying it people are selling it so it's also a digital asset but in the nigerian financial system it is existence but it is not regarded as what as a legal tender and then uh citizens have been warned Okay, against it, but individuals, organizations are still uh, investing in crypto world currencies. So here are the basic characteristics or features of the Nigerian financial system. Okay, uh, there's a fairly stable, uh, stable medium of exchange. That's the money. A Nigerian currency, it's fairly stable. Not be entirely stable, but it's fairly stable. There's a regulated market for raising funds. Institutions are operational, and then we have what we call process of listing and delisting securities okay uh, the uh, system is fairly liquid for domestic productions okay but there's stress burden on dependency on what on importation so we have a huge demand for foreign uh, foreign currencies because uh, Nigeria imports a lot so that is a stress on the, what, the financial system so we're paying attention to the Nigeria financial system we're not saying uh, ideal financial system. We're saying the Nigerian financial system, these are the characteristics of the Nigerian financial system. Accommodation of other form of tenders. Bitcoin, for instance, is not a legal tender, but it is being used in the Nigerian financial system. So these are the operators, the operators of the Nigerian financial system. We have the central bank. Okay. What does central bank do? Operates through the money market. Okay, to regulate what institutions, okay, and then the interest rate of the country is also managed by the CBN, uh, currency balance is also managed by the CBN, and then they also ensure that uh, what we call uh, inflation rate in Nigeria is what stable at uh, a, mini a reasonable level so that uh, activities or the economy does not, you know, have so much of what overcharge. So the CBN is actually an operator in the Nigerian financial system.
So we have the Ministry of Finance. Okay. So basically, the uh, the the Ministry of the Ministry of Finance in Nigeria, uh, we have Mrs. Zainab, uh, that's the Minister of Finance. So basically, uh, what we are saying here is that uh, the Ministry of Finance uh, tries to regulate uh, 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 or operate through the capital market. So the activities uh, of long-term financial instruments, as well as what we call monitoring the controls. Uh, of what uh, federal revenues, expenditures, tax policies, okay, and then uh, the Ministry of Finance also tries to what manage what I call the debts of the what uh, of the country. Domestic means internal debt, external debt here means foreign what debt. So basically, uh, uh, the uh, Ministry of Finance is an operator of the, the operator of the what Nigerian financial system. So Nigeria, this is Nigerian stock exchange, okay. So we can have them in the capital market. The stock exchange is a market where you buy and sell securities. So uh, basically, the capital market is where long-term what finance is what is raised through what securities. So basically, the Nigerian Stock Exchange also operates through the capital market. Okay, by providing a platform for what buying and selling of what of uh, securities. So Securities and Exchange Commission. Okay, it's uh, also uh, an operation through the capital market. But what they do here is you know, ensuring that what all securities are registered, that is every security or every uh, share or every uh, financial asset that you want to what, trade on the Nigerian Stock Exchange, okay, uh, is uh, registered, okay, uh, by the what, Securities and Exchange Commission. So the SEC uh, monitors the activities, okay, of the exchange and ensure that there's nothing like what, uh, uh, insider dealing. Insider dealing is uh, working with information from what individuals that are inside. Okay, so basically the SEC tries to what manage and ensure that the what the capital market, especially the stock exchange, is what is uh, uh, regulated. You know uh, to give that satisfaction to investors. So issuing houses, they are they are actually institutions. But if, for instance, a company wants to raise new shares, so it wants to raise new funds or want to issue new shares. You have to go through what issuing houses. So they are actually intermediaries, okay, in the capital market. They advise uh, companies that want to raise new shares or new securities. So basically, uh, they are quite important in fresh what issues. And then uh, whatever they do, when it comes to timing of uh, issuing what shares or securities, you know, they 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 help to what suggest the timing. But the SEC must uh, approve that stockbrokers they are more like uh, what i call agents of investors okay buyers and sellers you do that through stockbrokers so if you want to buy or sell securities on the stock exchange you have to go through a stockbroker okay so the end commissions basically so they are operated as well in the nigerian financial system so the ndic it's in a very in a very simple form what they do is to ensure that you know People that deposit their money in banks have some form of confidence, okay, in uh, in uh, in the fact that they're depositing their money. Don't just take your money to the bank, and at the end of the day, if your money is nowhere to be found, and then you lose everything. So the NDIC ensures that somehow you're protected. So usually, when there's an issue with banks in terms of depositors' funds, they find a way to uh, refund or give you some out of it, and then. Uh, uh, find a way to get uh, the bank to balance. So that is more of the CBN issue, but this NDIC here tries to find a way to ensure or protect the depositors' funds. So another operator, we have the buyers and sellers. So if, for instance, you have excess fund, you want to buy shares, that's investing. If you need money, you can sell shares. Okay, so we have the buyers and sellers, you know, that, you know, uh, 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 help the activities in the world in the stock world exchange. They are also operators in the Nigerian financial world system. So we have money market. Money market is uh, a market where you buy or you trade short term securities. Short term securities, okay, are uh, uh, maybe uh, securities that you know the conversion to cash is within a short period of what time. So that we call short term securities. So you also call them short-term financial assets or short-term financial instruments. So, example here is treasury bill. Okay, so usually treasury bill is a security that the federal government, you know, issues towards to investors through the what central bank of what Nigeria. So, if the government wants to raise money 
from the public, okay, or from individuals or from, from interested organizations, they issue treasury what, bills, and the maturity is between three months and what, twelve months. Treasury bill is very safe because government, uh, the federal government is backing it, so uh, it's more like a risk-free uh, instrument, okay. So we have a bank deposit. That's your savings, uh, savings account here. Uh, okay. Usually, if you have if you have excess cash, go to the bank, deposit the money into a savings account. They pay interest every month. Okay. So that's more like an instrument of trade. So uh, we we'll call it bank what deposits. Bank deposit. So your usual savings account is what we're talking about here. Okay. Then we have the certificate of deposit. Please ignore this. Is there's a P here. This is a this is deposit certificate of deposit D E P O S I T S okay, so it's more like saying that you know your fixed deposit account you know how you operate it now, okay so you put your money in an account for what this specific period you don't withdraw, but the bank pays you an interest so that sort of arrangement is what we call the certificate of what deposit, so we have commercial papers commercial papers is a way that company raise money from what big organizer from from individuals or from you know people that have excess fund okay okay so companies you don't tend as use that okay so what they do is they try to what promise to pay in a particular period of time okay so uh by giving you a commercial paper the company is uh, giving you what they call uh, a note uh, of promise uh, to pay at a stated period Okay, so uh, but it's not actually secured. Okay, but then it is actually a reputable organization that goes into such what such an instrument to raise funds. But then because of the fact that a reputable organization is involved, it's a safe uh, 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 investment for what interested what investors. So we have now a banker's acceptance. So it's more like a bill of exchange here yeah, that uh, you're having uh, what a bank or a drawing bank to what to accept. Uh, by guaranteeing you uh, a payment within what a specific uh, period. So here are the functions of the money market, okay? So what are the functions? Providing a platform for short-term world, short-term world, sort of what fund of finance, avenue for individuals, and companies with excess funds to invest their money, and the creation of avenue of investment for all class of income earners, okay? You have savings accounts for people that don't have so much, commercial paper for people that have so much. So we have that sort of balance. Then the safety of income, you know, from very uh, low investment risk by accommodating instrument backed by government and reputable what? Treasury bills is backed by the government and it's safe. So your income is secured. So there's always a bit of gap between the bank and what they call the bank through financial with inclusion. The fintechs are helping us close that what? gap. So capital market is a market for raising long-term what? Uh, long-term funds of or what they call long-term financial instruments so if you want to trade long-term financial instruments shares debentures bonds okay you use the capital market so you can have primary market or secondary market okay so if you want to issue new or want to raise new funds fresh funds through new shares or initial public offerings you use the primary market but if you want to sell existing or trade existing instruments you use what they call the secondary capital market. So here are the functions of the capital market: liquidity for investors. Okay, so if you, if you are what I call you need money quickly, you can pick, pick, pick up your shares and you know, sell and what make money. So we have new companies that want to raise shares. They go to the primary what capital market to raise fresh shares. Okay, uh, companies that need funds can also raise. Uh, uh, funds through sale of existing shares. You have a share, you sell it to make money. So there's a platform for long-term securities, okay? So it gives uh, what they call issuing or selling of companies reasonably time to put funds. What I'm saying is that, you know, because of the fact that it is a long-term uh, security uh, market, so it means that the, the company that is using it to raise the fund have time to make use of the money to generate what returns. So here we have listing in the capital market. So what we're saying is that ah, for you.